All right, we are here with uh, Chris of uh, Flying Mouse. Chris, thank you for joining us. Sure. So, uh, Chris, you are the uh, creative designer and, and director for Flying Mouse, and you are the one who uh, came up with uh, Mr. Hopsworth uh, right there. Um, how did how did he kind of come about, and what's been the uh, reception to his uh, to his imagery around the brewery and uh, in your advertising? Well, the idea for the Flying Mouse came from the German word for bat, Flater Mouse. And that originated from my brother Frank, who's the founder and, and brewer. And when he came up with the idea to name the brewery Flying Mouse, he and I started talking about it and batting around some ideas. And the thing that really struck me was the idea that it's not a bat, but it's a mouse who wishes he could fly. So based on that is the idea, all these imagery started coming in my head. And what I started thinking about is you need to have the story of a mouse who wanted to fly, who through his own invention and ingenuity and determination created something bigger and better than himself. So I thought of a mouse who was set in the steampunk genre, so science fiction back in the Victorian age, who was an inventor, an adventurer, and a swashbuckler who decided to develop his own wing pack in order to enable him to fly. So with that kind of idea sparked the imagery and the whole mythology that we started to build up. Uh, Frank and I are both big comic book buffs. You could probably see that in the, the imagery and the, the advertising and the marketing that we do. This idea of developing this story around the mouse really to me. Uh, as far as the reception, uh, thus far we've been hearing a lot of comments on Facebook, a lot of comments in the tasting room where people come in and say, I love the mouse. And of course, from a, uh, an artist or designer standpoint, having that sort of reception where people really appeal, uh, find, find the mouse appealing, really find it attractive to them, and interesting to them, uh, not just the imagery, but also the story behind the mouse, I find really exciting. And I'm really anxious to take that a little bit further and a little bit deeper with other characters and, and flesh out the story of Bartleby and the mythology around it further. Yeah, because we if you if people come to your tasting room in the brewery, uh, Got him in a uh, nice uh, tux right there beside you, but you'll see him in uh, all sorts of other what look like adventures going on, and he's getting in some maybe some shenanigans he shouldn't be getting into. Um, what is kind of the plan to kind of take him farther? Uh, is there going to be a comic book or something like that going on? So uh, the story's been growing. Initially, it started with just Bartleby, and it was interesting when we decided we want to put images of uh, Bartleby on the, the men's restroom. Obviously, we needed to have an image for the women's restrooms. That gave birth to his love interest, Priscilla Botetot, named after Botetot County, Virginia, where we're located. Uh, a French heiress who he was in love with. A kind of an interesting relationship between a mouse and a cat. And that started to expand Bartleby's story a little bit further. And even more than that, we started thinking, well, if you have an adventurous mouse, this inventor, steampunk, uh, swashbuckling character, you have to have a villain, you have to have partners in crime, you have to have just friends and whatnot. So there's definitely a whole story there that's just yet to be told. And as uh, I am a big comic book buff, I would love to be able to put that into a graphic novel, something more adult oriented, but a story about the mouse and all his adventures. Uh, one of the interesting things is that we've built this story around him uh, living in the house, house of Jules Verne and getting the idea from a time machine after Jules Verne was visited upon by H.G. Wells. So not only do we have the steampunk genre, but also a time travel story. And uh, one thing that's yet to come up, which exclusive here, is Bartleby traveled back in time and is actually the originator of beer. So that story will be coming soon to the, uh, the, either the pages of the Flying Mouse graphic novel or our website once we get Bartleby's Tales up and running. Okay, and uh, where can people find the graphic novel? Just on your website or do you plan on publishing this? It's a very good question. I think first I've got to flesh out the story and get the graphic novel created. Once that's done, uh, my idea was to have several uh, limited releases as blog entries or stories on the website and then eventually compile those into a much richer and deeper story as a graphic novel that could be published. All right, and the last question for you. Um, for yourself and being involved in, in Flying Mouse, what is kind of the journey been and where do you hope to see it go? Well, I think the journey's just beginning. I think similar to the story of our mascot, Bartleby Hopsworth, 
Uh, we have a dream. We have a dream of flight. We have a dream of creating something that enables us to do something that we're passionate about, something that we love, and something that's bigger and better than, uh, than ourselves. And what we want to do is create something that's not just a brewery for ourselves, but it's for the entire community. It's for the people who come in. It's for the experience of beer. It's the experience of community, not just uh, the consumption of beer. And for me personally, given that uh, my brother originated the, the idea for the Flying Mouse, working with him has been great, with my sister-in-law and the other partners, and it's just been really a, an adventure of discovery, of learning, and of seeing how we can take something so small and build it into something that we're really proud of. All right, Chris, thank you. Sure, thank you.